Operate. Welcome back to Kenshi. I did just record the first 15 minutes of the episode, so basically we were just running back and forth, stealing. Um, 34 Thievery now, 39 lot picking. I'm going to continue from there, and I have some plans for how this episode is going to go. First, we're going to go and try and get Burn. Um, obviously, after we do this thievery, these Thievery runs... I'm going to try and get to 50 and 50. 50 lockpicking, 50 thievery. Um, probably help if... Yeah, you can see all of the skeleton repair kits we got and the Masterwork Grade KLR series. Um, that's what made this BW1, is the KLR series. So each of these new skeletons are based off of the limbs that are already in the game. They're just a mod that's added, and I love them. They're awesome. I think that uh, the X1 that we have, which is the actually called ILAM or something like that, is based off of the Industrial Lifter Arm, I believe. Or they're based off of the KLR Feet, because that kind of looks like the KLR Feet. Or the KLR Feet is for both of them. I don't know. That's a good question. Um, but... Yeah, so we're just going to continue this thievery run and we'll pick up once we get back to 50 and 50. So we completely cleared out that robotics shop for uh, robot repair kits and masterwork limbs. So I have a bunch of masterwork limbs to help if anybody loses anything. And now everybody has robotic repair kits. And then the Precisions both have multiple stacks, which is awesome. Um, and one of the reasons why I got their strength up is I want them to be able to carry multiple stacks of those and their ammunition. So I'm going to now try and have S3 go over to the bank and maybe lift a few of those um, Leviathan Pearls because he should be able to pick these locks now. Yeah. Yep, definitely. And we are now at 48 thievery and 41 lock picking, 39 stealth. I did get caught a lot. So we're gonna pick up once we get all either all the Leviathan pearls or at 50 and 50. So S3 is now at 52 thievery, 47 lock picking, and 40 stealth. We did completely clear out the bank. Um, we actually didn't get caught once. So we have all of the bank's Leviathan pearls, quite a few of those CPU units, which are pretty good cell value, and power cores, which are pretty good cell value as well. So what we're going to do now is uh, head out and quickly get burned. We did make a quick stop off at this way station to get some specialist grade belts. Uh, I did get some for X1 and BW1. Uh, yeah, and I sold a few of the Leviathan eggs. We got quite a bit more money and we still have a bunch of things to sell if we need money. Realistically, we don't need this many ro robot repair kits anyway so we can sell those for money as well. We're going to head over to the Black Desert City first to get some... get a lot more of the special robots so that we can kind of get an army. Is well, eh, you'll see. So we picked up quite a few more skeletons into the group. We got another BW1. We have another X... Uh, BW2 called, X2 called, um, we have another precision robot, and then we have two more just standard skeletons. I also did a thievery run to get all of them some nice weapons. So for X2 we're going to have him use heavy weapons because, I mean, why not? We don't have anybody using heavy weapons right now. So he's going to be using this Kansaiba or Kansaiba, whatever it's called. Um, it's actually really good. We got an edge type 3 for him. Um, we have an edge type 1 with the no spikes, which I would prefer because its bonuses are better, but the damage is just... it's too little compared to this edge type 3. Then for the other BW, we also have a falling star edge type 1. Uh, we did get a new edge type 3 Odachi for S3, 
which is a massive upgrade. Um, we unfortunately didn't get anything for S3. We got a Masterwork Eagles Cross for Precision 1 and then Specialist Grade for 2 and 3. Sad Neil has S3's old Odachi. And then we have this Type 3 Moon Sickle, which interesting. It's a weapon I've never used before. And then we gave this Arma Armado guy um, Sad Neil's old Hunting Saber. So we're going to head over and get Burn now, and we'll be back shortly. So we pick up over here in Skinner's Rome. I started a base, so I have an iron resource over here. I have a small copper resource over there, which kind of sucks, but eh, it's better than nothing. And then I have my stone mine built up and a manual stone processor. We already have zero over here doing research. And I split the group up into two. Uh, I also gave the faction a name, test group one. Uh, this is experiment one and laboratory one, which is what the base is going to be called. I have all of the new recruits except for zero in for the actual base, and that's because all of these guys, except for Precision 3, I do want to keep. Precision 3, I will bring him back to the base, but that's once we get walls up with turrets. And then we're just gonna build up the base here a little bit. I am close enough that we can do runs for uh, ancient science books and for even new recruits, because I do want to keep a skeleton, a pure skeleton run outside of zero. Um, while we were over here, we did get attacked. Zero did lose a right leg, but it's okay because I actually gave him the Masterwork Scout leg, so he's actually moving even faster. Swimming at 1% less, stealth at 8% less, but that's okay because we're never letting him swim and we don't use him for stealth. So basically it's an upgrade, not to mention the fact that he has 145 health now instead of 80, so that's much better. Once this is finished, we're going to build a research benchmark 2 in here. We're going to tear all this down, and we're going to have Zero start uh, researching better things than just this stuff. We'll be back later. Well, the walls are almost complete. We have been attacked quite a few times. Some by triangle bandits, and then there were hungry bandits, and then starving vagrants attacked us. So we're sending S3 back to the Black Desert City to see if we can get some more recruits. Um, hopefully we can get some more of these ILAMs or ILAMs. Um, some more of the, I don't know what these are called, I just call them BWs. And just standard skeletons, maybe precision robots, I don't know. Just basically anything at this point because uh, we need more people. We are going to continue to get attacked and we just need more. Well, I was wrong. The bunny rabbit skeleton um, actually is not good at turrets. It has a detriment to turrets. It's a martial arts robot. Um, the only bonuses it has are towards dexterity, martial, dodge, and swimming. Oh, robotics. But yeah, so the only thing it has bonuses to are basically martial arts things, except for strength and toughness. But that's... so I'm going to keep that... I'm going to keep him in the group. Uh, but Precision and these other two... Precision 3 and these other two guys that I just picked up, they're all going to stay in the laboratory. And hopefully we can get some more people... We're being attacked by dust bandits, and then I also saw some triangle bandits over here. And then there's hungry bandits. Oh, Skinner's room is not a calm place. But S3 is over here just taking out like four people on his own. We are doing so much better. We do have a bunch of new characters, unfortunately I didn't get them weapons yet, so they're kind of being martial artists. <laughs> Hungry bandits are now attacking dust bandits. Oh, wow. 
But hey, this is amazing training for all of our new people. Oh god. Unfortunately, those new people don't have <laughs> weapons yet. And those of them that do, don't even have armor. <laughs> oh god, he's... Yeah. And then we somehow have MK1 stuck on the wall over here, where there isn't a ramp so he can't come up or down. And the AI, of course, isn't finishing this. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with the AI. Almost done. There were a lot of people. There we go. 66 damage. One hit. Damn. Alright. Alright, oh, everybody back here. <laughs> Alright, so let's get these new people weapons. Alright, so we do have everybody having some armor, some weapons, so it's better than nothing. And then we have these three new characters as well. We're gonna have... Uh, yeah, alright, we'll have both of you guys come and work on this stone processor. So this one stone mine is not, not enough to get this one stone processor running. So we do need a second one up. So I need Mortez. Mortez needs a job. Uh, what can you do? It's two out of three. And that's three out of three. All right, you can work on the iron processor. Oof, all right, still need more guys. Well, uh, prayer day is on the way to the lab, so we need to finish up these walls, but the AI doesn't want to work right now, so I'm having to manually do this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it by the time the prayer day gets here, because I believe that's them. Um, I don't know how many paladins they're going to bring, or if they're even going to bring paladins. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> So we got the walls finished up, and now I'm building some crossbows. For some reason, these are working, but I can't have them automatically build this iron cross or iron ore drill. So that's kind of annoying. Um, but the prayer day is just right there. We should be able to see them here shortly. Yeah, right there. Uh, I think I can see six paladins, maybe. I don't know. We are relatively protected now because the walls are done. The gate should hold pretty well. Let's have Precision 3 go up and man the crossbow and we'll switch him over to the lab now. Uh, let's just add a dialogue squad. Uh, lab guards. Precision 3 up there. So because he's a skeleton, he's never going to have to stop manning the crossbow because of food. But, alright. Oh, you're holding somebody. There. Now he's holding the crossbow. <laughs> Although he is 
aggro to somebody. I don't know who. And I don't see the Greater Day is kind of just standing down there. Alright. Uh, they only have five paladins, so... And they're currently in acid rain, so okay. I feel like that's not how that should work, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> so it looks like they were just standing there because my gate was closed. I don't know. I just opened it to just have the main group head out and loot them, but now it looks like they are coming. Uh, these are high paladins, so they're in the 60s, but their limbs are all negative 20, they're all crippled, their chest, head, and stomach are all negative 20s, except for that one, okay? But I feel like this is going to be an easy fight, even though their stats are all in the 60s, but I don't know. I mean, it's going to be interesting. Oh. There's a copper resource right there. I could have gone just a little bit further and had a normal copper resource. Damn it. Alright, but now we're just gonna wait until they actually get in range of the crossbows and then we'll just close the gate again. So we're gonna have precisions get back up there. Oh, not Mark 1. Or MK1. Damn, they are real slow. Are they healing, at least? Yeah, they are. Alright. Well, um... Hey, better... Armor? I mean, I don't really want anybody wearing this armor because it kind of sucks. But I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What the hell is this? Black Dragon Ninja. Or... God damn it. Alright, well... Uh, let's get down here and just wait for those guys to get in there and we'll close the gate, but I feel like we can beat these black dragon ninjas or whatever. Genins. Alright, well they're gonna move in. No. Alright, every now and then when you have a base, people, bandits mostly, will attack to quote quote move in. They'll kick you out and basically just stay in your base until you take them out. Where are those... Oh, they're right there. Yeah, we're definitely winning this fight. These guys have better armor and weapons than the High Paladins do, and that's kind of sad. Nope, don't... I, I don't like that the ranged guys go after more people. It kind of annoys me. No, you stay up on the turret at all times. Alright, so we're just going to speed up and wait until they get within view of the turrets, and then we'll just close the door. And there we go. Oh, they're still walking. Alright, uh, now let's get the precisions up there. Um, are you guys gonna do anything? Alright, well, um, just take these three and just, no, don't dismantle. Shoot, there we go. Keep shooting. And shoot. Kind of annoying that I have to do this. Okay, what could I have possibly... Oh, limbs. Last one. Are we gonna shoot him? I think he's out of range at this point. Alright, that's fine. This guy got back up. Are we even shooting? Like... Come on. Wow, all right, nothing. There we go. Come on. All right, this is, come on. 
I feel like these guys... They are really tanky, you gotta give them that. Alright. Let's get everybody down here. Um, we sh the, These ninja guys should have... Yeah, ninja eggs, which are great for martial arts. So we're just gonna take those. Ooh, that's actually good. Let's have this guy come get that. Actually, we'll just... I'll go through all this and get better gear for everybody. So there is a massive group of hungry bandits coming in, and <laughs> they're just immediately attacking the gate. Alright, let's start shooting. Nope, what are you doing? You need to stay on the crossbow. Are you guys, like, stupid or something? What? Okay, somebody's not on a crossbow. Alright. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> oh, they're attacking the walls now. That's great. Alright. Well, at least we now are getting into melee, so that's fine. Walls are damaged, though. Which kind of sucks. Oh, wow. Oh, god, we're just cleaving through them. <laughs> oh. Wow. Alright, well, that went much, much better. That's just <laughs> seeing like twenty people come up and try to attack one person is always kind of sad. All right, we need to get the gate repaired and get the walls repaired. But that's gonna—I think this is gonna be the end of this episode. We did get a base up and running. We have a lot more people now. Um, we do have this L house in the back, and we are having electrical components being crafted back here once those, uh, once the actual workbench is complete and finished being built. But that's going to be the end of this episode. If you guys have any uh, suggestions on what we should name any of the new recruits, just leave them in the comments.